Today in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can make your images pop just using glows and highlights. I'm using Pixart for this one, but I prefer Photoshop because you cannot get the result in Pixart as you can get in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get to the video. So here we have our image right here and we are gonna add glows to it. But first I need to have a light source. For that I have to make some little adjustments so that it looks kind of realistic. So I'm quickly gonna do that in speed art style and I'll catch you up after I do these things. and now I'm gonna decrease the brightness a little bit and then we go to the draw tool choose a color closest to the light source putting the building board to screen I'm gonna paint with a soft round brush with a low opacity you don't have to rush you are gonna smooth and simply do that and as there is a glow there should be a highlight for that, I'm gonna do the same draw with the plain board screen of course and erase. Draw and erase. It's all the same from right now. You have to be super accurate about the highlights. You have to see where the light are gonna hit. So for that, I can suggest you look around, look around the environment you are, see things, observe things, and you will get better at this. Brightening up the eyes is quite an interesting thing right now. So I'm brightening the eyes and you can also add a little glow to it like I'm doing. But right now it is not in screen mode, it is in overlay. You can always change the blend modes and play with it, see what is accurate for you. Copy that and I guess screen is better for this one with a low opacity of course. When you are doing small roundish things, you can put glows like this. Search from the stickers as flare and you will get this PNG. Put it in blending mode screen and place it right there. Now I am placing another light source because I think that would be cool enough to have another light source behind us. Let's go. Same thing. This is have blurry because this is far enough to have blur little blur and it will also have glows and highlights so it's all the same and meet you again after this speed up right here and I'm gonna decrease the opacity and brighten up those little places
now you have it this is how I create the flows in Pixar but again I'm gonna suggest you to do this in Photoshop if you have that because that would be properly super accurate 